I would say my first real job was um, being a cashier at um, a grocery store in Massachusetts. I smile when I think about that job because I always wanted the speed lane. And I always, every day that I went in, and um, I always wanted to improve my results from the prior day. So that gives you a little sense of the competitive nature of who I am. Typically, uh, one would think you have a very linear uh, career path. I did not, and most people do not. You know, I started in finance, I did an HR job at one juncture in my career, and then I started running businesses, and then I continued to keep running businesses and larger businesses over time, which led me to running Aetna, and then led me to being uh, a big part of the transformative aspect of CVS Health. When I was young and 12 years old, uh, my mom died by suicide, so I have a big, strong passion around behavioral health and the stigma around behavioral health. My aunt died when I was 23, um, suffering from lung and breast cancer, and I was very unsure and very unclear of how to navigate the entire healthcare system. That gave me the passion that um, I really need to figure out how to fix this and really help people um, when they're in need and they're being caregivers to successfully navigate the healthcare system um, because it's difficult, it's hard, and it's you know when people are their most vulnerable. I read a book early in my career called Lessons of Experience, and it really taught me to really think through um, you know when when you do um, stumble, when you do have a setback, make sure you stand up, make sure you use those experiences and learn from them. And I think that th those kinds of things. Um, have helped me in my career and no, you know, no career is without setback, no career is without having you know, a, a stumble, um, but it's how you get up from those stumbles and those setbacks and what you do from, from there on in.